this is our latest uh, top infusion pump in the market. The model is MJ210. This pump comes with, with the built-in toe clamp behind. It's not separate and it, it's actually run with a built-in battery and also adapter. Right? And also there's a drop sensor connection point here. Drop sensor. Okay. I show you how to fix the drop sensor on the pump. Huh? At the back of this pump, you can see there's a connector point here. Just take out your drop sensor, connect over here. Then this is how you locate your drop sensor over here. At the left hand side. Okay. So this is point for the AC adapter. This AC adapter. Connect like this. Show you how to fix this pump on the uh, at the hospital bed IV stand. Okay, the good point about this pole clamp is, is uh, the size of the pole can be a speed at this size. So for this case, I'm mounting on this stand. Huh? I'll just show you. Just mount like this. Make sure it, the, this screw is tight on this uh, pole. Uh, this is how it looks like. I'll show you on how to operate this pump. Uh. This pump ID uh, mounted a SC adapter. I switch on now. You can see there's an uh, indication here. There's AC power. The big end battery is fully charged. There's, like, there's a 3 bar. Okay. Basically, this is the panel. We don't have the door. This this is area is for putting the IV set. There's a flow area indication here. Then there's a button here where it's explain this is to start or stop the infusion. This is to on off. This one is to, to eject the IV set. And this area is to determine the type of IV set you use. So our pump allow you to use two type. One is our dedicated, we call useries. The other one is general. So general got few type like 15 drop per meal or 20 drop or 60. This basically to adjust the infusion rate. And then this place is to share the volume limit, total volume on the rig. And then this button is to stop the alarm, silent the alarm. This is for purging. Okay. Basically you switch on by pressing on a button. So you can see here there's a cell, cell check system. So if there's any uh, any malfunction of pump, the pump cannot be used as alarm indication. This one meaning the pump is ready for you to fix. So as I told you, our pump can use our dedicated IV set and also general IV set. Show you, uh, we are using the hospital general IV set. Any IV set can be used. So this is the set. Uh, this is a example is like a general IV set. As usual, you have to do the priming. Make sure there's a uh, this this uh, this uh, uh, air chamber is uh, filled with the solution. And then this priming before go to the patient. So now you switch on the pump. What you do? Make sure your tubing because this pump is run on horizontal the movement. You should go from this side to this side. Follow the arrow here. The arrow here means this one is to the patient. Should be so you cannot do the, the other way around. Uh, the the solution come down, but you go this way. That will be wrong. Uh. this is correct way. Okay, so very easy. You just pull this one. Just pull a little bit up. So the pump will automatically uh, attach the set. Okay, now because I'm using general, you should go to general. 20, uh, 20 is the one for adult. If let's say you are using a uh, pediatric, you can go to 60. But for my case, I'm using 20, you should go 20 general. Then this one panel is for you to set the infusion rate. This one. The rate you can set here. So our maximum is 360. Eh? If you want to reduce, you just press accordingly. Eh? Roll down. Let's say you want to do it. Number 60. 
60 mil per hour. That means one hour they will deliver 60 mil. So next you press the display here, they will go to limit. So we have a limit function. It can go from 0 0.1 up to 9999.9 like this one there's no set for the preset or limit example you can set example. one mil example then this total volume is to check the total infusion but i haven't started that's why it shows zero so after that this one you go to the patient and can you start the before you start you have to apply the drop sensor so this way so make sure it's above solution below nozzle then this one you go to the patient go to patient and then you release this clamp then you can press start start so now green light means indicate you can see here the solution is running first uh, I show you downstream occlusion this one is to the patient if there's any occlusion over here what happened you can see they will show you OCCL and then the the alarm sound and also the light uh, red light here here mentioned lower is downstream alarm what you do is actually you have to silent first okay, there's indication here then we rectify the problem you press one more time then you can restart restart back okay next Okay. Sorry, up, up, upstream, just now downstream lower. This is U is up. So same thing, you will just silent. One more time, you rectify the problem, then start. Okay, during the infusion, if you want to check the total volume, what you do is you press the display here. The this is the indication will mention total volume. This already mentioned two. As now it's two point nine mil, three mil to, into the patient. So this is how you check the total volume. So if you want to suspend the infusion, what you do is just press here. Then this one blinking. So the pump is now suspend. Then at doing this stage, actually you can change the rate. You can change set the limit volume limit. So how you want to, to uh, clear the total volume? is by uh, at the total blinking here you press for two two seconds here ah, total volume will be disappear then you start again so now pump is in the operation again to take out the IV set from this pump ah, what you do if you you stop the operation first okay the next very important if you should clamp the IV set the IV set have to clamp to make sure there's during the take out the IV set there's no free fall happen so so you have to clamp this one next you press the eject key here press you see the alarm will lock. eject push so you need to one more time to put eject Okay, you can see the light is on so you can take out easily.